Hi, I'm Robert Fulton. You may be wondering why, as an inventor, Mr. Wimble's chosen to put me under the water. I've wondered that too. I'm pretty sure it's a cheap gimmick, because I invented in 1807 the steamboat. Now, the steamboat really revolutionized and sped up water transportation. That's because before the steamboat, you're really relying on the wind. And if there's no wind, well, obviously your boat's not going to go very fast. So, the steamboat allowed for really much more faster uh, and reliable water transportation. Now, let's see what other gimmicks Mr. Wimbles decided to put in for the other inventors. Hey, oh, a yellow submarine. How inventive. Let's go. Mm. Handles pretty well, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, what have we got here? A bus. Really, Mr. Wimble? You've put them in a bus? Over to you guys. Thanks. Away! Here do? Sure. Hi, John McAdam here. And this is my partner, Thomas. Telford. Thomas Telford. Yes, right. Anyway, we're not really inventors, to tell you the truth. Not really, no. We improved the way roads were made, pretty much. See, before, it took a really, really long time to make a road. Yeah. And it was incredibly expensive. Yeah. And it actually didn't work that well at all. That's right. And so what we managed to do was standardize the way roads were made. Yeah. And we made a system of roads called macadamized roads. Did you get that, Thomas? Yes. Macadamized, because I'm John Macadam. What's your last name, Thomas? Telford. You know what the roads are called, though? Macadamized roads. Yes. Anyway, these macadamized roads really revolutionized the way transport was made. And roads could be really quickly made and improved. We managed to really speed up road travel. Yeah. And they're called macadamized roads. Yeah. Can we go talk to the bus driver now? Yeah, you can do that. I'll stay here, standing on my macadamized road. Come on with me. Out you get. Is it my turn? Yeah. Off you go. Hi, everyone. My name is George Stevenson. In 1825, I invented the locomotive, an amazing piece of machinery that really did increase the speed of land transport for people and goods. It was really the first steam engine that was reliable, fast, and soon they're springing up all over the country, along with railroad. So really, I guess I had a pretty big impact, as well as Macadam. Anyway, here's an awesome picture of me as a statue holding up a mini locomotive. I quite like it myself. Similar likeness, don't you think? Anyway, through these three inventions, first of all the steamboat in 1807 by my good friend Robert Fulton, then Thomas Telford and John McAdam, macadamizing the roads and improving roads, and finally my invention, the locomotive. We managed to increase transport, make it more reliable and consistent. And with all this transportation of goods, the Industrial Revolution was able to Go full steam ahead. <laughs> full, get, get it? Full, because, uh, sorry. <laughs>